would you do if you were king and rivals were lurking around, challenging for the crown? Would you be like Dre and bite prey? Or would you spend billions of dollars every year for over a decade to build the most powerful fighter the world has ever seen, armed with capabilities the world has never seen, to bring untold destruction to rivals? The U.S. Air Force went with untold destruction to rivals. Get ready. You're about to be briefed on a highly classified project. It's no news that the U.S. budgets more for defense than any other nation in the world. A lot more. Many billions in these budgets are going to one single program, the NGAD program. The NGAD program is designed to create a family of systems whose members are technological innovations. Among them, new weapons, sensors, electronic warfare suites, battle management capabilities, engines, but most notably, new unmanned loyal wingmen known as the Collaborative Combat Aircraft and a new manned fighter known simply as the NGAD fighter. Over $4 billion has already been spent on the NGAD program and a lot more is underway. The Pentagon's proposed budget for the fiscal year 2025 amounts to $850 billion. $815 million of this goes into continued work on the Air Force's NGAD fighter alone. This is a substantial increase over last year's request of $276 million. Once in service, this fighter may be the most expensive fighter in not just the world, but in all of history. After all, the fighter the NGAD fighter will replace is none other than the F-22 Raptor, the current most expensive fighter in the world. It's therefore no surprise that the Air Force's overall request for the NGAD program as a whole, year over year, has grown from just over $1.9 billion to nearly $2.75 billion. $11 billion will be spent on the program over the next five years, and at least $40 billion on the program overall. The major recipients of these high-dollar numbers include the NGAD fighter, whose capabilities we'll see in a minute, and the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Loyal Wingmen, whose capabilities we'll see right now. Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs, are the unmanned loyal wingmen section of the NGAD program. They harness cutting-edge disruptive technologies such as autonomy, machine learning, and artificial intelligence to support manned fighters in executing their missions. The loyal wingmen can perform a variety of tasks during missions, from carrying weapons and flying ahead to provide intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, to electronic warfare and even striking targets directly. Fielding such collaborative aircraft in their numbers is one way to achieve comprehensive battle space surveillance and agile combat employment from different altitudes at different angles, making mission planning dynamic and flexible. These are benefits that the U.S. Air Force cannot afford not to have. The service plans to spend over $6 billion over the next five years on developing CCAs. The Air Force is expected to launch a competition in 2024 to decide which contractor will develop these aircraft. Anduril, Boeing, General Atomics, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman are the five contractors already working on possible CCA designs. A down-select from the initial five contractors down to two or three is expected later this year. Dozens of additional firms are supporting the program through the development of autonomous technologies, sensors, and other mission systems command and control capabilities, and more. The goal is to have a CCA design actually in production by 2028. It's quite a reach, but then again, the CCA development may not be starting from scratch. Some programs which share a similar goal with CCAs already exist. DARPA's Air Combat Evolution, Boeing Australia's MQ-28A Ghost Bat Project and the Air Force Research Laboratory's Skyborg program are only some of such programs aimed at developing manned, unmanned teaming capabilities in the skies. The Skyborg program already appears to be the choice for the Air Force. The service proposed $51.7 million in its 2024 budget proposal to transition Skyborg's autonomous flight technology to CCA programs. 
So some progress has been made with these unmanned aircraft. Once complete, each CCA is expected to cost between 20 to 40 million dollars. At roughly the same price of an F-16 Fighting Falcon, they aren't expendable drones by any means. The Air Force plans to acquire at least 1,000 CCAs. It also plans to have 500 manned fighters in its fleet. Therefore, a pair of CCAs will be assigned to each manned fighter in the fleet. This fleet will include 300 units of the fifth generation F-35 Lightning II and the 200 units of the lethal, mighty capable, sixth generation NGAD fighter. NGAD stands for Next Generation Air Dominance, which is exactly what it's made to achieve. Air dominance of the next generation of aircraft. To achieve this, an entire suite of new technologies must be produced, which is where the new sensors, engines, weapons, and other capabilities come into play. They all work together towards the common goal of air dominance. The most crucial part of this program is the NGAD fighter, and it is what will feature the majority of the technologies being developed in the program. The result will be a fighter that wields capabilities right out of a science fiction movie. Capabilities such as Advanced Stealth The NGAN fighter will build on the stealth technology of previous American aircraft, fighters, and bombers alike. Like the B-2 Spirit, the stealthiest aircraft in service today, the NGAN fighter will take an overall triangular shape, internally hold its payload, and have no vertical stabilizers. It is the first fighter ever to have such a revolutionary design. Vertical stabilizers had always been required to keep an aircraft airborne until the concept of active flow control came to life in the B-2 Spirit. Active flow control uses computer brains on board to constantly adjust the flow around the aircraft to keep it airborne, similar to how birds fly. Open Architecture Decades of history have taught the U.S. that an aircraft will always have room to be better, no matter how advanced it already is, especially with near-peer adversaries becoming more near-peer by the day. Therefore, the NGAD fighter will come with an open architecture that enables the fighter to take on new upgrades easily and quickly. This way, the fighter will constantly adapt to newer challenges of the battlefield that are introduced by the advancements of opposing militaries. To put it simply, the 6th generation NGAD fighter can be upgraded to become the 7th generation NGAD fighter years after it's fielded. Maximum Connectivity To swiftly gather relevant information about its surroundings and act on that information, the NGAD fighter is slated to wield the most sensitive sensors ever installed on a fighter. The Air Force will do away with radars mounted on the aircraft for electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage to achieve this. Information acquired by these sensors will be made available to other members of the fleet, whether 6th generation or not, to keep the entire fleet of friendlies abreast of relevant information in real time. The Air Force fleet instantly becomes a tightly interconnected force in the sky, and it's all in large part thanks to the connectivity of its new fighter. New Spectrum of Weapons The NGAD fighter will be armed to the teeth with weapons the Raptor, its predecessor, wields, and more. Like the Raptor, the new fighter will wield missiles, bombs, and possibly a massive rotary cannon. Unlike the Raptor, however, the NGAD fighter could wield laser-directed energy weapons that take out threats with high-intensity laser beams. These come with an entire slew of advantages over legacy weapons. 1. Laser weapons have unlimited magazines, as they continue to fire for as long as they're connected to some power source. 2. They strike targets at a speed of 180,000 miles per second, the speed of light, the fastest thing in the universe. Targets would have to do the impossible to evade them. 3. Laser weapons are autonomous in operation, as they execute the majority of their work without human intervention. The Air Force has multiple laser weapons in the works, but the most promising of these remains the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, or SHIELD for short. SHIELD is being developed by a team of Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin three of the most capable defense contractors in the world, and the three most likely contenders to build the fleet of sixth-generation NGAD fighters, at least until Northrop Grumman dropped out of the running last year. 
Northrop Grumman is a contender of the U.S. Navy's NGAD equivalent program and is also developing the B-21 Raider, the Air Force's most advanced bomber yet. The company already has a lot on its plate, and besides that, would the Air Force want the same company producing its two most advanced aircraft? Considering that Lockheed Martin, which has been building the most superior fighters in history, is available? That's anyone's guess. Currently, Boeing and Lockheed Martin are the two prime contractors contending for the NGAD fighter contract. How that will go is also anyone's guess, but a competition between the two primes would be the likely decider. The global polity continues to heat up. Wars have broken out and more seem just a few years away. The U.S. is at the center of a number of these, as rivals continue to get more daring. In response, a new family of air dominant systems are taking shape, and they promise to do what every powerful family does – stick together and destroy their enemies. If that sounds like a plan, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for the NGAD family.